Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Warrior Bats. My name is E Rose and we're playing with the Rose Clan and in the last episode we had something amazing happen. We had the very first nicheling born with both the bat head and the bat wings. Two of them too. So we are going to have our first little like full on bat warrior bat nicheling born into our tribe and I think the parents Fernheart and Oakstar are very, very happy and very excited to see their little nicheling baby born. And this changes some things because we did talk about having Puddle Kit potentially become the next star, the next leader of our clan. But I think that Oakstar would be rethinking things now and perhaps maybe want Bat Kit to go under his father's wing and become the next leader for the clan to become the next star. And I don't know how Puddle Kit really feels about that. I think he might feel a little bit bad. And maybe he'll want to go off on his own with his mate, Red Paw, and start a clan of their own. And Puddle Kit is actually a very interesting nicheling. He was uh, born from a Birina. A Birina was his father, so he does have the Birina snout and Birina claw in his genetics. So we'll have to see what type of babies they have in the future. And with the Barina genetics being born, we also have Honeypaw, who is pregnant with this Barina's child. So I wonder if this child has any of the Barina genes, if that child would want to go ahead and wander off to this new clan that's forming off to the north. So we'll have to think about that in the future. So speaking of seeing what type of baby this shit is <laughs> seeing what type of baby Honeypaw is going to have, what genetics. Let's go ahead and move Honeypaw into the nest. And we'll need to go ahead and move Light Kit um, off too because Light Kit is a sickly nichling and we don't want to get any of our nichlings sick if we don't have to. And then let's go ahead and move Gold Leech Kit over here and to do a little purr because it looks like Honeypaw does have some damage. And she is going to have her next baby which is so exciting and she'll do some purrs too since she's so excited to have her kit. And then Oak Star, let's go ahead and have you collect some of these berries that are over here. And let's see, are there any berries on this bush? There are a few. This rogue male, oh no, don't steal my berries, I need them. <laughs> We're very hungry people. Hungry, hungry hippos. And then Little Paw, why don't we have you, my dear, uh, come up this way since you do have a little bit of damage to you. Actually, you already have the healing on Ryu, so you could stay out here a little bit longer. Uh, let's go ahead and have you collect the grasses that are over here for now then. And then Fernheart, you can actually pop out of the nest for now, but I don't want you to leave your baby. Uh, let's go ahead and bat at this little berry bush. And then Wolfnut, hello and welcome to the clan, little Wolfnut. So Wolfnut is not related to anybody uh, in our clan right now. He was a wandering nicheling that Oakstar decided to invite into the clan because he had double nimble fingers. And that will be very helpful for us because we do have this like nut tree over here and he will be able to go ahead and collect all the different nuts over here. So that'll be very useful for us in our food collecting. And let's see, let's go ahead and have you collect this nut right there. Awesome! Good job, little wolf nut. Good job. And then Puddle Paw, why don't you... Let's see. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, there's so many berry bushes over here. What the heck? Uh, okay. Uh, Red Paw, uh, why don't we have you... Oh, we can't see what's over there, can we? Let's go ahead and have Falcon Paw come over here. Ooh. All right, so there's toxic berry bushes and it looks like there is a normal berry berries right there too. So that is good to know. Uh, let's go ahead and remove some of the grasses over here. And then Puddle Paw, why don't you uh, come wander over here? Ooh, there's some bugs right there too. Ooh, very interesting. Oh my goodness, look at how many berry bushes that are over here. That's crazy. Hopefully we can go ahead and eat from some of those. Uh, let's go ahead and have you start clearing out some of the grasses too. So that is unfortunately a toxic berry bush. I wonder if we should work on having some of our nichelings 
uh, to start picking those berry bushes, or maybe we should go into our mutation menu and add in the like poison fangs and things that would be useful for collecting those toxic berries. But I think if we had poison fangs, if I'm not mistaken, that would get rid of the personnel or the bat head. Hmm. Yeah, that would get rid of that. Is there anything else that is good for the toxic berries? Uh, what about, uh, what's it called? Toxic body? Maybe we'll want to play around with toxic body. That might be something that we want to do. Is there anything else that's good for poison? I don't think so. I think toxic body and poison fangs are our best bet. Yeah, there's the poison fangs. Uh, water body, lean body. I think that's it, right? Let me know if you guys know anything uh, about that. Okay, so we might think about uh, playing around with toxic body so that we'll be able to harvest up all these toxic berries because there's a lot of them around here and we need food. We're going to get hungry. And then Minnow Kit, you have a little bit of damage, my friend. Uh, do we have anyone else that can do person that on you? Not quite yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and just collect some of the grasses that are around here. I kind of want to like collect all the things. Uh, and then this, oh, this rogue male. We're going to need to be extra careful with our females. Uh, but it looks like Honeypaw is going to have a baby who has the potential of having Barina genes. And then you do have double personnel in your genetics, uh, in your mutation menu. But let's go ahead and see what happens in the next turn. Looks like we have a beautiful little purse-snouted baby born. Little Marsh, hi Marsh, who does have the Barina snout and has a Barina claw. So that is very exciting. So let's go ahead and change your name to Marsh Kit. And I think Honeypaw would be very excited uh, about this and would definitely want to try for another baby. She is quite old though. She only has three days left, uh, but I think she would go ahead and pop out of the nest real quick and try for another baby with a Sparina. Oh, that's perfect. And since she is, hmm, let's see, should we wait a turn for her to have her baby? We'll think about that for a second. Uh, oh, there's a bunny right there. Uh, can we get this bunny? There we go, we got this little uh, rabble. And then little paw, why don't you go over here and collect these berries if you can. And then, uh, let's go ahead and have Minnow Kit collect the grasses that are over here. There we go. And then a Light Kit, you are a sickly nichelings, so you need to kind of stay a little bit away from our other nichelings. And then Feather Kit, why don't we have you pop up up here and kind of investigate what Wolf Nut's doing. And then Wolf Nut, my friend, you can go ahead and collect these nuts. Good job, little wolf nut. You're awesome. I love you, little guy. <laughs> and then Fernheart, let's go ahead and move you down here by your mate. And you two can try for another baby. Uh, but not have the baby quite yet. But just be ready uh, in case there's another rogue male that comes wandering around. And then let's go ahead and move back Fernheart over here next to her little son, Bat Kit. And I guess we can move you behind your mom. And then Gleech, let's go ahead and do a little bit of purring to do some healing around here. And then Log Paw. Oh, there is a berry bush right over here that we can use. So let's go ahead and collect the berries that are right there. And collect up some of these grasses. And then Falcon Paw, why don't you go ahead and help us explore this area? We're kind of like surrounded by berry bushes right here. This is pretty amazing. Uh, red paw. Let's see, what should we do here? Let's go ahead and move you right there, puddle paw. And then I think red paw will want to have her baby. So she'll kind of like stay right there for now. And let's see. Oh, there's another toxic berry bush that we can't really do anything with right now. And let's see, can we get around these bushes? Let's go ahead and move Falcon Paul over here. Oh, there's a nest right there. Another permanent nest. That's pretty awesome. All right. And then Honey Paw. I think you will want to go ahead and pop down your nest since you only have three days left to live. I think you want to have another 
baby with Asperina, maybe another one after that too. I think you're very really excited um, with your mate and you want to have some Birina looking children. I think that's what you're very excited for. All right, so let's go ahead and see what type of babies are going to be born in the next turn. And it looks like we have a precious little baby girl, little Meadow. <gasps> Hi, Meadow. You're so cute. And you have a little bit nipple fingers, which will be awesome for collecting berries around here. So I'm very happy about that. And then are you friendly? No, you are not a friendly Barina. <laughs> you are a very not friendly one. Um, hmm. All right, so we'll have to think about what we're going to do with you. And then we also have you, a little boy, a little girl gold do you have yes you have bearing a snout and also a bearing a claw welcome little gold to the tribe let's go ahead and change your name to gold kit and then we also need to go ahead and change little meadow to oh that's such a pretty name oh i love having our like custom name files that is amazing that's so much fun to do all right so we need to kind of like think about what we're doing over here uh, we need to get rid of the Sparina. So I think Logpaw would come over here and start fighting. And let's see, what can we do? We don't really have... Let's see, who do we have that has Claw right now? Only, like, little babies, I think. Um, I think Light Kit is going to prove that he is very, like, strong and courageous, even if he's not quite so strong because he has a little like derpy paw but I think um she'll try she'll try to do what she can but she does have she does have um the uh spiky body so that could help that could definitely help us and let's go ahead and move oh my goodness look at little bat kit you're so cute oh my goodness oh you're such a little one right now I need somebody with purse snout to come over here let's go ahead and have Golich kit Come over here and do a purr just so that she can heal log paw in case he takes any damage and then we probably should move Ooh, let's see what should we do here let's have honey paw she would be excited about making babies and she's gonna come over here and get pregnant um not have her baby quite yet oh she can't make it over there and do a purr can she let's see i wonder it can Oak Star, can you come over here and do a little purr for a light kit? Uh, but you could get sick though. Ooh, that's the thing though. Uh, let's risk it. Let's go ahead and have you come over here and get a purr on just so we can get some healing done uh, for poor little light kit since she was so brave and just came up here and started whacking on this Barina, even though she's just a little, little nicheling right now. And then Honeypaw, why don't you go ahead and clear out this grass? And I think you'll have one more baby with this Barina. And then Minnow Kit, I think that you would be thinking a lot about this Termite Mound. And you would take a whack at it and you would take a little bit of damage, but you would be able to go ahead and collect some bugs from it. So I think it would be useful. And then let's go ahead and have Little Paw collect some berries and also collect some of these bugs over here. See, we are going to need some help. Uh, let's go ahead and have Fernheart come over here and look the wounds. Oh no, now you have it too. <laughs> oh no. Um, and then we'll also, can we have Feather Kit come over here and lick the wounds as well. But you have spiky body, so it hurts a little bit. Oh gosh, it hurts. It hurts. And the little Marsh Kit, let's pop you out right here. And little Wolf Nut. Let's go ahead and move you right here and shake your tree so you can go ahead and get some more nuts for us. All right, and I think that's all I want to do down here. Uh, Fernheart, I don't want you to have your baby quite yet. So we'll leave you there for now and then a feather kit. We can have you remove these grasses. And then let's go on up here. Little meadow kit has just been born. Let's go ahead and have falcon paw come over here oh gosh this bear <laughs> a little peaceful bear right there uh you can come over here a little one and start clearing up some of the grasses that are over here and then puddle paw let's see there were like tons of berry bushes let's go ahead and have you pop over here oh sweet there's an actual like 
normal berry bush right here and not a toxic one. So that is very nice. And then little red paw. Uh, let's go ahead and pop you right here for now. And you can go ahead and collect some of the grasses right here and sit next to your little baby meadow kit. All right. Oh, there's a bunny right there too. <laughs> But I think if we attack when we're near this peaceful bear, I think the peaceful bear will be pretty upset with us. So we'll have to keep that in mind, but it does look like there's tons of berries, so we should be okay for the moment. And then little bat kit. Let's see, let's go ahead and pop you right here for now. And let's see, can we go ahead and do anything with you? Can we get this grass? I guess we can move you. Should we put you in the nest for now? I don't... I don't want to have a baby right now. Not quite at the moment because I think Honey, Honey Paul is having a grand old time popping out babies because she is going to die soon. Oh, only two days left. All right. So let's go ahead and play it in the next day. And oh my goodness, poor little Light Kit has taken some heavy blows from this Barina. Uh, but fortunately, we have Oak Star right here who can go ahead and lick your wounds and do a nice little healing purr. And you can go ahead and fight a little bit more. Oh my gosh, Light Kit, you are so, like, brave and so strong for being such a little one. And then Logpaw, oh, I think you'll be able to fight, yes, fight this Barina and get a ton of food, which is very, very exciting. And then Wolf Knot, you can go ahead and continue on collecting some of these nuts. Very nice. And then we definitely want to make sure Honey Paw has her last little baby. Oh, honey paw, you were such a sweet little nicheling. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you a lot. Thankfully, you left behind some beautiful little nicheling babies, including little gold kit, oh my goodness, and little marsh kit, who are the offspring of this friendly barina over here. And then feather kit. Let's see, you are now. An adult oh have you been an adult for a little bit I think you have been sometimes it's hard to keep up with the names but let's go ahead and name you feather paw now since you're a little bit older and little paw let's see E and F E and A I wonder what we should do with you guys let's see E and F over here uh, Falcon paw has E and B A and B We'll have to think about if we want Featherpaw to have a mate of her own. And we also have Minnow Kit too, who is now Minnow Paw, who will be able to have babies of her own too if she wants to. And you have H and F. Ooh, that would be good for us, I think. H and F. So Little Paw has E and F. And Wolfnut has A and C. So that might be a good potential mate for you. And then lock paw A and F. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to think about that. We'll have to think about what we want to do about there. Uh, or maybe oh, I think Feather Paw would be really interested in this Barina. Since Honey Paw is about to pass away, I think she'd be interested in maybe having Barina babies. So let's go ahead and have her come over here. And I guess she'll get pregnant, but she won't have her baby for a while, I think. Um, but I just want her to get pregnant so she doesn't have the chance of having a rogue baby because <laughs> I don't want to have any rogue babies right now. We already had a few of those. All right. So what can we do? We can go ahead and move this grass. Hello, Timber. How are you doing today, little guy? And then it looks like this uh, termite mound doesn't have any more bugs for the moment. Okay. Okay. But we do have Berry Central over here. Are there any berries that we're able to harvest up? No, not quite. Yes, there is another berry bush over here. Is this going to be a toxic berry bush? Yes, it is. Uh, oh gosh, and there's a little bird. There is a bird coming. Oh gosh, look at all these berries. Um, let's see, are all of our babies next to an adult? We all need an adult right now. I need an adult. You need an adult. Everybody needs an adult. It uh, looks like everybody is okay, so the bird shouldn't be able to pick on any of our little babies. And then, was there another berry? Yeah, there was another one over here. Let's go ahead and move Falcon Paw 
um, out this way too. Oh, there's some bunnies. Oh, but that bear, that friendly bear is right there. And it's going to be really mad if we start picking on these bunnies. Uh, let's just go ahead and see. Okay, there is a berry bush there, but it looks like all the bunnels, like little bunny dudes have eaten all those. And then red paw, uh, I don't think you'd want to leave your baby. Especially with this big terrifying bird flying around. Uh, so let's go ahead and make sure that we stay close to little meadow. And then log paw. Let's see, A and F. I don't think we have a good match uh, for you. H and F. I think the closest one would be minnow. But it wouldn't really be a like a great match. So maybe we'll wait for Wolfnut, because that would be good though. But he does have low fertility. Let's just go ahead and move Minopaw up here. So she can kind of be around in this area. To see if anything uh, can happen up here. And I think Minopaw would be very curious about these berry bushes. We're kind of running low on food. So Logpaw, why don't you go ahead and do a healing purr? And hopefully that will help out Minnow paw as she collects these toxic berries and i think uh gold leech kit would be like what was that what kind of berries are those and would also like follow in minnow's footsteps and collect those berries too and hopefully they won't take too much damage with this healing we'll have to go ahead and test that out those can be your little like guinea pig testers to see and then little paw why don't we have you come over this way a little bit and start clearing out some of the grasses in this land and then Fernheart, I want you to have a baby, but not quite yet. And there's a little bat kit. Hmm, what should we do? I guess little bat kit can sit right next to Honeypaw. So I guess Honeypaw can... Oh, she's going to pass away soon though too. Ooh, because I was going to move Fernheart. But Honeypaw is about to pass away and we do have like birds flying up ahead. So I guess Fernheart will just come up here and pick up this nest for now. Uh, because I don't want her to have her baby quite yet. And then Oak Star. Uh, let's see, you have six days left. So we will have your baby soon. So that Bat Kit can have a little sibling. Um, but we'll just wait just a moment. Yes, we'll just, we'll just wait a second. Because <laughs> I don't want to have too many babies. Because we are running a little bit low on food. And we've started picking off these toxic berries, so hopefully that won't have too much of a, like, negative effect on us. Minnow paw, uh, but we do have... Oh no, there's a common cold. Wait, who's sick? Oh no, did you get everybody... Oh, Light Kit, you were very strong, but unfortunately you're getting everybody sick. Alright. Oak Star... Go ahead and do a healing purr so that you can help out Light Kit and Minnow Paw. And let's go ahead and move you over here to collect these berries. And then we'll have Fernheart collect the berries that are right here. And then, oh, look at you, little one. Oh my goodness, little river. Little river who has Berina Snout and Berina Claw. Welcome to the clan, little one. And there we go, little river kit. And let's see, let's go ahead and have you collect the berries right there. And then Marsh Kit. Let's go ahead and move you down here for now. And then Feather Paul, you're currently carrying this Berina's child. So let's go ahead and, oh, can you get berries? There's no more fruit to collect. Oh no, there's no more fruit. <laughs> no more fruit. Okay. And I guess you can attempt to collect that. <gasps> Look at Bat Kit! Oh, that's pretty awesome! Oh my goodness! You can fly! <gasps> that's amazing! Oh my gosh, Bat Kit, you are pretty awesome, my friend. You are very, very awesome. I guess for now we'll have Bat Kit kind of follow his father, Oak Star, around. Since he is getting quite old, and I think we've decided that Bat Kit will become Bat Star once his father passes away and become the next leader of this clan. Which in turn kind of makes somebody upset over here. Little Puddlepaw was originally 
starting to become the deputy of Oakstar. But since the birth of Batkit, that changed everything. And now Puddlepaw, along with Falconpaw, and Redpaw and her baby Meadowkit, they are starting to leave this area to start a clan of their own. So let's go ahead and start moving um, Redpaw over this way a little bit. And there's that bear in the way, oh my goodness. Let's just go ahead and do some healing purrs, I guess. And Goldleach Kit, you are collecting these berries, these toxic berries, because we are desperately in need of food. Um, along with Minnow Paw, too. So let's go ahead and move you over here to collect these berries. There we go. And then Log Paw. Uh, let's see, does everyone have healing that's around this area? I guess Log Paw would be like, well, if everyone else is doing it, I guess I'll start collecting the toxic berries as well. Just because we desperately need food. And um, that's one of the only ways we know how to get food right now. And then Wolf Nut, you can go ahead and collect these nuts. Uh, we can have Light Kit come up here and shake this tree. Good job, Light Kit. Uh, and then Wolf Nut, you can go ahead and collect that. And now Wolf Nut is actually... Ooh, Wolf Nut is actually an adult now. So he could potentially start having some babies of his own, own too. Let's see. So Featherpaw, you're pregnant. Fernheart, you're pregnant. Didn't we have another female? We have Goleach Kit, who E and F, A and C. I wonder if Goleach Kit and Wolf Nut could make some adorable babies. I think potentially we will have those two become mates and we'll kind of change their gem colors to match. I think, is that matching? No. Not quite. Uh, it's hard to tell once everything's grayed out. We'll change that in a second. And then gold kit. Let's go ahead and move you next to an adult. I need an adult! And then little paw. Let's see. You, what? We can have you kind of like go off this way too and start clearing out this area. So let's go ahead and see what the next day is going to be for us. And, oh no, it looks like, oh, we have a bug problem and we have sickly nichelings. Oh my goodness. Um, bug problem. I think this is good for the bat-headed people to go ahead and collect these bugs. Uh, we can't have you come there. I wonder if we can have bat kit fly over here. Oh my goodness, bat kit, you are amazing. And go ahead and get those. Oh gosh, Bat Kit, you're so cool! Oh my goodness. Alright, and then... What's oh, over there? There's a Nestard over there, okay. And then Logpaw, you are on Toxic Berry Duty. Along with Goldleach Kit. There we go, and then... We'll have Wolf Nut. Collect your nuts for now, but I think you'll introduce yourself to Goldleach Kit in just a second. And then light kit, you can go ahead and help shake that tree. Um, but then I also want to make sure you move down over here so that you're not getting anyone else sick. Since we do have like some sickness in our tribe at the moment. So speaking of sickness, let's go ahead and do some healing purrs around here. And collect uh, some berries. Let's go ahead and move you over here so you can collect these berries. And then little meadow kit. Uh, we can't really move you right now. But you are sitting next to log paw, so you should be okay. So we'll have red paw. Oh no, red paw kind of kind of got left behind a little bit by puddle paw. Oh my goodness. So I think we'll have puddle paw kind of. Oh gosh, there's a barina there too. Uh, okay, let's go ahead. And wait, is that bear around though? There is that bear there. Okay, so I don't really want to attack that bear now. Because I'm afraid for my life. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and collect these toxic berries as well. And then falcon paw. Go ahead and have you remove some of the grasses around here. And then poor red paw is blind, so she can't really like travel that far. 
Um, but she'll do a purr to kind of like call out to her mate, Puddle Paw, and hopefully um, that they can hear her. <laughs> and hopefully they can have some more babies soon too. All right, so let's see. We have little wolf nut who can go ahead and collect these nuts right here. And then I think Oak Star in his old age, he has four days left, would be very interested in seeing Fernheart's baby. So let's go ahead and move River Kit out of the nest for now and pop in Fernheart so that she can have her baby. And then Oak Star, why don't you go ahead and do See, anyone have damage around here? No, actually, everybody's okay. How are you doing, little Paul? You're doing okay. Uh, and you have healing on right now. Okay, so Oak Paw. Let's see, what should we do? Let's move Marsh Kid over here and do a little healing purr. And have Oak, oh gosh, another Defender Bear. <laughs> um, have Oak Star come over here and collect some of these toxic berries since we're kind of desperate for food at the moment. And then Feather Paw is actually carrying this berry in his child. But I think she'd come over here and collect some of the berries if she could, too. Since we need food. We are in desperate need of food at the moment. And then anything that Fernheart can do, not quite yet. And then Little Paw, you are kind of on exploration duty and exploring out this way a little bit. All right, and Meadow Kit... Uh, let's just go ahead and move you here for now. And then nothing I really want you to do. All right. I guess we'll move Gold Kit right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we're going to have another bat baby with Fernheart and Oak Star. A sibling for Bat Kit over here. Are you going to be as amazing little baby as Bat Kit? Let's go ahead and see. And... <gasps> Oh, we have one wing. We have one little wing. It's a little girl, and her name is Jem. So welcome, Jem, to the clan, little one. You only have one wing at the moment, uh, but hopefully that will help us in the future. So we have little Jem uh, kit right there, and there are some mosquitoes buzzing around, so we're going to have to be kind of like on mosquito duty. And let's see. Let's go ahead and move Feather Paw. Let's see, let's go ahead and have Oak Star do a healing purr for Feather Paw. And then we'll have Feather Paw come over here and collect these mosquitoes. And I think Oak Star would want to come over here and have another baby with Fernheart. At least if he passes away, she'll be pregnant so that she can have her baby in the future. And then Marsh Kit. Let's see. Um, let's have Bat Kit. Ooh, Insect Swarm. Fly and collect insects. <gasps> oh, well, that's so cool. Oh my goodness. Bat Kit, you are amazing. And then we also have, let's see, Minnow Paw over here. Why don't we have you collect some of these toxic berries because we are in desperate need of food. And then Red Paw. Is making your way down here oh gosh you're taking lots of damage <gasps> let's go ahead and lick your wounds oh no ah uh, let's go ahead and have you come over here and meet up with red paw oh my goodness you're taking so much damage uh, let's go ahead and have red paw do a healing purr for you so hopefully you can get healed a little bit and I think that you guys will try for another baby too and let's go ahead and move meadow kit out here by her parents and let's go ahead and have falcon paw i don't want to fight this barina right now because there is a bear right here i think that will kind of freak out if we start fighting so we'll do that for now and then let's go ahead and collect these toxic berries and we'll have golich kit come over here and do a healing purr and collect berries if she can uh, but she's not going to be able to uh let's see but she can have a baby which i think okay gold leech and wolf nut we're going to think about having children i think so let's go ahead and move wolf nut over here 
and collect the nuts that are right in this area, and then we'll move uh, Golich. Uh, she's sickly right now. Let's just go ahead and move her right over there for now. Okay. And then Featherpaw is probably going to be pretty anxious to have her baby soon, since she's been pregnant for quite a while now. And then Gold Kit. Why don't you run over this way and collect up this nest? And then Marsh Kit. Ooh, this- oh, this termite mound's ready! Is this- it's red, though, so you're gonna take damage. So, let's go ahead and move Oak Star over here so we can kind of, like, uh, help out Marsh Kit. And I think Marsh Kit would be very excited and be like, what's this? And, like, just, like, whack at it. And unfortunately, Marsh Kit- Marsh Kit is gonna be swarmed by termites. But hopefully our healing personnel will help out with that. And then River Kit, why don't you go ahead and pop up here for now? And then Light Kit, my poor little sickly nicheling, why don't you start collecting over here? Okay. Uh, and then Red Paw, let's see, you are pregnant. And since Puddle Paw took like so much damage, I think they'd be kind of nervous right now. And I think Puddle Paw would hop in the nest to have his baby because he's right next to Barina and he's taking a lot of damage. And I think he wants to see um, another child be born in addition to Meadow Kit. So let's go ahead and see what Puddle Kit and uh, Red Paw's kit is going to look like. And oh, we had another female. Oh, and the <gasps> Puddle Kit! No! Oh. Oh no. <gasps> rabbit! <laughs> Little rabbit has been born. Oh my goodness. Puddle Kit, that's so sad. Did that Defender Bear like attack Puddle Kit or did he just move to attack this Barina? I'm not too sure what just happened here. Oh, Little Metal, you have some damage too. Okay, so welcome, Little Rabbit Kit, to this land your parents well your father just passed away and your mother is kind of like on the outskirts of this tribe along with falcon paul they might still continue to try to do their own thing uh, along with little meadow cat and then we have tons and tons of mosquitoes flying around that we'll need our little bat head nichelings to take care of and let's see oak star <gasps> Oakstar is going to pass away in the next episode. Oh my goodness. And that means that little bat kit might take over this clan. This young little bat creature who is pretty awesome, who can fly in the air and collect insect swarms, um, might become the next leader of this particular clan over here. Uh, but we'll have to see what happens to this little clan that's starting to move on over this way. So I'm very excited to see where Warrior Bats is coming and going. I hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Make sure to go ahead and leave a like on this video to toss some berries, hopefully not toxic berries, to our little nichelings. And I will see you guys in another episode. Bye!